So how's it going? Today I am in Steinkar, the place with the weasel. We're fishing again. But this time, baits. The last time I was here, I was with a Polish guy. His name is Gregor, or George as the rest of people call him. And he had three hake over two nights. The biggest being 18 pounds, nearly 19 pounds. So we're here tonight in Steinkar, after hake, and haddock and cod, and all those good autumn goodies. That's right, yeah. And we're with another guy tonight. His name is Kazakh. He's also Polish. Ah, uh, we're going. To, well, George isn't here. He's at work, so I'm going to put a clip of George in, uh, catching us some nice hake. So George has got a fish. Professional. Oh, he's a beast. Aha. It's another hake. Is it a hake? Yes, it is. Aha, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. You have camera? Yeah, right here. <laughs> <laughs> So, George had a nice, I don't know, eight pound hake or something. Nice job. Now I need to catch one, otherwise it's, <laughs> it's not going up. <laughs> Great fish. Man. Nice. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> and uh, so, let's go. The gear is the Sonics SK4, and the reels are one of my favorites for up this way, the Torque 100s. And for bait, we're gonna use coalfish, and we're gonna use mackerel. The coalfish is, the coalfish is fresh, and the mackerel is frozen. That's what we're gonna do tonight, bait wise. The rigs are George-inspired flapper rigs, that's what they are. My new Polish mate, George. It's inspired by George's, George's rig. I call him George 14 hooks. <laughs> We're just getting a bite already, I don't believe it. It's only just in the water five minutes. We're already getting a bite on it. Anyway, we lead him to it. So anyway, so this is a George inspired rig. It's the first time I fished the flapper rig since I was like 17 or something like that. It's got a 6-0 mustard beck on the end of it and there's three hooks and then the other one is like that kind of thing but like a really simple clip down um paternoster rig that's it two hook so they're the rigs you can have a look at them when they get in tonight i'm going to do something glowing or flashing glowing lights versus no lights we're going to do that tonight as well so we see if the, it like is there anything to it or not it's the discussion i have with every fisherman me mate over here kazakh he likes flashing stuff George doesn't know. I haven't got a clue either. So, um, we give it a go. We see what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the crack is right. The other night, I had my ass handed to me by by Gregor, and I think it was because I was using bait elastic. And uh, the height, the hake are a lot like whiting. They got those teeth. These teeth are really big. I think they don't like the elastic when they hit the bait. So tonight. I'm going this way with bay holders and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of elastic up the top where, where it tie on on the hook and that's it. I'm using fresh coley on the on the clip down pattern and these are the hooks and they're the baits so it's kind of like yeah it's just like basically giant whiting gear that's what I've got going here and uh, the other one's like a three hook flapper I got 100 pound rig body, I got 80 pound snoods and some loomy tube and crap like that to stop it from tangling and a bit of attractant. And then on the, uh, on the flapper rig, I'm going to put a flasher on there. It's like a little, little light just to see if that helps out a bit. So I'm going to bait this up and then I'm going to lash it out and we get on with our lives. Yeah. So I'm using the Cowley on the distance rig because it's as tough as old boots. And it won't come off. I got frozen mackerel for the for the flapper rig. And that will explain the reason behind all of this. So I'm just gonna do up the top there like that. Up the top. I and mean, it's got that bead there as a bait stop. So it doesn't shoot off over the end of it when it hits the water. You're not gonna get super distance out of this. It's just an experiment to see does it help out in any type of a way. And so there's the rig there anyway. Clip down. Boom. 
turns out the water here is about 15 meters deep when the tide is out maybe about 20 when the tide is in tonight is second tide before the spring spring tide is the sixth i believe it's good tides black moon that's for fishing in my opinion anyway so i really hope pray i want to get something decent tonight i've been fishing my little bum off I'm not getting too. I'm not getting. I haven't got one these to fish out yet, really, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep fishing until I get something good. Nothing on that cast. Rebaited the clip down rig. And I'm gonna take the brakes off. I'm gonna put it out a little bit further because we're not getting nothing in close. So, that's the point of it all, I suppose. Options. That's what I like in fishing options. <laughs> so we lash this out as not as far as I can, but further anyway. Boom. So we're getting a cracking bite on this rod. Yeah, let's go. We are into a fish. Yep. Oh yeah. Give me light up. Well, it's probably just a dopey dog now. I said that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. It's not, mate. It's not doing anything apart from being heavy. So that means it's a bag of weed, then, huh? It's not pulling at all. Here comes the flashy thing. Well, it's the first fish. First fish on the flashy rig. Ah, oh, it's a dopey dog. Oh, God, no. <laughs> the curse of the dopey dog. Oh, no. <laughs> now we go again. Minus one dopey dog. There you go. There you go. Come on now. There you go. Yeah, let's go. We're into a fish. Yes, we are. We're into a fish. <laughs> mm, just a dog, I think. Ah, oh, maybe not. Oh. Yeah, I think it's something a bit better. Get the slide up. Yeah, I don't think it's a dogfish anyway. It's a pollock, is it? Small hake. Small hake, is it? So, what have we got? A little bite. So, that's two to the glowy thing. What have we got? Your dinner, mate. So, the whiting are coming. This is what happened the other night. The whiting came and then the hake came. So I'll take care of this guy. I'm going to get this bait back in the water so I don't want to miss out. And then when the bait's out, I'll finish the job on him. Yeah, next cast. The last night the whiting came and then the hake came. So I'm going to get this bait back in quick. Boom. That's the whiting. Pound five. Pretty alright. He'll taste good. So that was actually a good sign. I got the whiting on the bait because there's no elastic. The other night the boys were getting my wasn't because I was using elastic. Well a lot of it. I was using herring, a frozen herring. It was a bit soft and there was no skin on it. But that's what I could get at the time, so I found some mackerel instead. And I got that coldy, so it'll be grand. Just less elastic, as your man, especially with hake and whiting, I reckon. But it's all hake, or it's giant whiting. It's like the dogfish and the bullhorse thing, right? Dogfish aren't cool, bullhorse are. Whiting aren't cool, hake are. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Bait night on bill fishing. Come on now, the boy. Yeah, let's go. Yep, we got a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, it's fighting like crazy. Wow. <laughs> Get away from there. It's trying to swim into the other line. Hake, maybe. Or a coalfish, maybe. It's fighting very hard. What have we got? Wow, what's that? It's a cod. <laughs> Oh, it's a haddock. It's a big haddock. <laughs> nice. Holy scrap, man. No haddock. It's a nice one. And you can see him. It's a nice haddock. Yeah. Good job. Let's see if he's okay. Keep. Looks fantastic. So that's the haddock there. Not a bad one. Come on. Three, four pound maybe. We get a scales on it. Nice. Four ten, four nine, four seven, four pounds something anyway. Pretty decent for a haddock. Pretty decent. Hasn't been too bad so far. Hasn't been that great either. The whiting and a decent whiting and a decent haddock. No hake yet though. Very depressing. I really want one of these. I had a hake video once, but uh Something happened to it. What's the technical term on YouTube? Uh, yeah, the file became corrupted. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to get my hake video, and uh, I'm going to keep on trying until I get it back. That's what I'm going to do. So we fish on. We see. We see what else happens. All right. Nice. So, I meant to something absolutely huge. I mean, whoa. He's like, you know, he took boat rods off the stand there. <laughs> I think I got my super waiting. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got him. So, gonna have to gaff this fish because it's too far down to take him out safely. I think I have to keep him anyway. Oh. I got him. <laughs> yeah. Nice, look at him there. Ah. Look at the teeth on that lad. The mega whiting. <laughs> so, any whiting warriors out there? Feast your rivals or not, yo? Excellent. I don't know, I'm sick of scales on it. I'm eating it. Still, I still haven't got a double. 812, 811. One eight pound mega whiting. Nice. So, let's fish on. But I want that, I want that 20 pound hake. I want that 18 pound hake. I want, want a bigger one. So, just casting out another giant whiting flapper rig. In the hopes of glory again. That was quite glorious. <laughs> Doesn't fly too good. <laughs> so, by the signs of it, we're into another fish as well. And right, lad. It's just mucking around in the dark with the camera. And then everything went crazy. Oh, he's still there. Turn that crap off. You think so, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, he's off. <laughs> yeah, he's there, all right. Oh, this is an even better one. Oh, these things pull like crazy. Oh. Right, this is a, a double all day long. Oh. Might have to give him a bit of dry. Oh, oh he's a beast. Can you bring the, the hook? Oh, 
Yeah, this is a double all day long. Oh, he's taking drag and everything. Going down here. I'll come down, don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I got it. Yes. <laughs> See what weight this one is. That was a hell of a scrap. Hell of a scrap. If you get one of these things on a lure, it'll pull you to the sea. I think I found one new where I want one on a lure rod. I don't know how you get these things on lures, but we work on them. <laughs> this has got to be my first doubles for the year. It has to be. I swear I haven't weighed this. So we're just going to see now if it's my first double of the year. It's been hard work. Hard work. I haven't said it hasn't been fun, but it's been hard work. No. So close, but no cigar. Hey. That's pounds, not kilos. Kazakh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we say we say nine pounds, right? Uh, three kilos. Three? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Four kilos. Ah, uh, it's four kilos, man. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. disagrees with me. Five. Four. Four. Four kilos. Four. Yeah, I got another one. <laughs> Never mind him. Just Billy fishing, not Kazakh fishing. Don't listen to him. It's four, it's four kilos. <laughs> they pull. They pull like crazy. Fantastic stuff. The whole thing about the corrupted file for the last Hague film. Yeah, you know what happened to it. <laughs> so, this is to replace that one. This is the super waiting video. Yes, that's what it is. So, if you want to know the story with the Hell Hake video, that's it. I had caught a Hake, it took me two months to do it, and it was only a small one. And uh, then I deleted it <laughs> with my big man hands. I was furious with myself, I couldn't believe it. So fed up, it was awful. So, this is to make amends for that. So, this is the other rig. Nice big strong hook bait holders. Short snoots, hook lengths, whatever you want to call them. This is the bait then. Fairly decent hook for these fish, the six of bait holders. Because I'm using the minimal amount of elastic. So that's the bait I'm putting on each hook there. So got three baits like that, like I said, super waiting. That's what they are. And just the same with the teeth. I'm gonna have a look at their dentures now in a second. Hake are mad. And it's a fish I've had a fascination with for now for a few years. I have to get a bait in the water, I can't be messing around. So we'll just hack a lump off it there. Hope it's all the one fish. <laughs> Boom. In it goes. They don't seem to stay around very long. See, that's the problem with them. So they're not like stay around all the tide. Seems to me they come on the beginning of the tide mostly. So that's it. Like that's what the baits are. I'm gonna throw a glowy thing on top of the rig. So this is it, you've all seen them. And then when you make the contact at the back, then they flash. That's it. So I'm gonna put that on the top uh, on the the link. There we go. This is the rig. It cast about as well as you'd think a three hook flapper rig with a whole mackerel cut into three pieces wood. Like a cat tied to a shopping trolley, but they catch the fish. The the reason being is right there's a lot of small fish out there and you have to keep them off. And so there, you have to have one bait there somewhere that something hasn't touched that's big enough to catch one of those yokes. And that's the whole thing, it's just a numbers game. 
So that's what I'm doing. I got one out far and one in close, and it's paid off. Two casts, two fish. So out it goes again. The shopping trolley cat thing. I wish you could see it fly. It's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. There should be a lot against it. Newton's having a heart attack. You heard it land anyway. So this is what I was talking about with these teeth. If I get them out open, you see in there, look, he's got teeth up the top, got teeth down on the bottom. He's got three, two, four sets of teeth this guy has. And then he's got, he's got some in his throat there. I don't know if you can see them as not as well. And he's got, he's got teeth on his tongue as well. I mean, talk about the amount of teeth. And that's what I was talking about, the whole weighting aspect of this type of fish. I mean, that's what it was. It was the elastic. It's something as simple as that put this, put this fish off. That's what it was. I mean, I was getting hit out. Bloody hell. That's the second time a dead fish has bitten me. So, yeah, those teeth. My word. Like something as simple as bay elastic can ruin a nice fishing. You know what I mean? I mean, if you don't think about it. So all that weighting fishing. <laughs> around Dublin paid off eventually <laughs> huh? fantastic I was thinking to myself that the that the hake were in here feeding on the whiting and sure enough if you look here there's a big bike on out of this guy here where the hake has hit him that's what was going on anyway so the whiting were turning up and then the hake were turning up but looking for the whiting so so we actually into a fish Probably a nice haddock or a cod since it's doing absolutely nothing. Pretty heavy, and if it's a dopey dog, <laughs> I'll kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably tear me bottom lip off, but after the night, I'll still be happy. That's my thousand subscribers' promise. Oh, Jesus Christ, it is a dopey dog. Damn. <laughs> Curse of the dopey dog again, look at him. Oh my god! But it's okay tonight. We can deal with it. <laughs> so I said I'd kiss the dopey dog and I suppose I have to keep my thousand subscribers promise. So pucker up baby. Thousand subscribers promise kiss a dopey dog, right? There you go. Lovely job. I'm not kissing him on the lips because he'd bite me face off. No dopey dog sound. Back to the drink he goes. Sploosh. As you know in my ears, actually that's the first time I've ever kissed a fish. So it happened to we all end up there eventually. Don't judge me. Alright? Okay. So I was sweating there for a while. It was getting close to upload day. I didn't have a video. So I was gonna have to do a how-to for my thousand subscribers special. I didn't want to do that. And when YouTube gets in the way of fishing, there's only going to be one winner this fishing. <laughs> but it's been a great night. It's been a great night. Fantastic stuff. I'd stay till bleeding dawn if I had enough bait. So it's not last cast yet, but it's coming up. So last bait. Two hook pattern that clip down. Sploosh. See if we get another one. So I'm still in the dark about the glowy stuff. Um, yeah, both of those fish were taken on each time the one without the glowy thing on it. So, yeah, does it work? I don't know. I don't know if it works or not. Still don't know. I mean, if that's any kind of indication, if they're into the glowy stuff, surely they would have taken the one with the glowy stuff on it. They don't care about the glowy thing. Where are the whiting? That's the only thing they're thinking. That's it. Glowy things, zero apart from dopey dogs. So we're into a fish again. No, we're not. It's just dopey dogs. There's no more bait left in this. Only one rod left, then it's home time. Last rod. Bites have gone off completely. Top of the tide, half past two in the morning. And that's it. Yeah, we'll see what's on. There's nothing on, but we'll have a look anyway. You never know.
there might be a sleepy hake on there. He might have banged his head on a lead weight or something. <laughs> and knocked himself into a stupor. And I didn't see the fight. We all live in hope, right? Actually, there is some weight on it. <laughs> it's a dopey dog or a dab. Or the both of them at the same time. Double Z's, here we go. None of the above. Just bait, a lot of it. And some seaweed. And a leaf. Quite a collection. So, that is it. <laughs> yeah, two of them. Fantastic. Not bad for a thousand subscribers special. That's what I think, anyway. I've been after these fish for ages, ages. Yeah, I'm made up, I am. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, most of all. Remember, fish heads, wherever you are in the world, fish on, and I'll see you on the beach. Yeah.